And what's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi. And my brother Uch. And we are back again. <laughs> Once again. How y'all doing today? Today, we have finally got the extra minute and 46 seconds to react to something that should have been on this channel quite some time ago. And Brother Uch had no idea that this thing was even a thing. Pokemon the movie, I Choose You. The proclaimed reboot to Pokemon as we know it. Now, I understand this is probably, I think, your first time on a Pokemon reaction of mine. So, I haven't added anything Pokemon related to this channel in quite some time. Ever since, like, the Sun and Moon hype kind of faded away and all the, the locked-in theories were, like, done with and all that stuff. You guys can definitely go check those, those out in wherever corner you see now. But right now, this is a reboot. Now, I do know, I am aware that... This movie is going to include things that we don't even really expect to see, considering that it's taking place from the beginning of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So are you ready? It's reaction time, and let's get right into it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh oh. oh, oh. Yo. Yeah, look at his hat. Oh, the, the thing's backwards. Dude. Fight there, what? <laughs> Dude, that's Marsh Shadow! That's Marsh Shadow! <laughs> Who the hell are these people? Who's that? Oh, God, man. Oh, but I'm free. Oh, Team Rocky. No. Oh, it's a, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh my god! Bruh. Oh yeah, look, those are all the Pikachu those are in the game. Oh, keychain? Bruh. I want it. Son! This movie's gonna be amazing! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I wonder so, why Ho Ho is like such a main thing. Okay, so I think with a reboot, that means that they can kind of take things from how they it was and pretty much add new things to it at the same time. You see, because back then, in the days where no one knew that there was going to be more than 151 Pokemon. Now we didn't, as a child, let me tell you something, when I was six and I saw Ho-Oh flying over the episode one at the end when Ash was protecting Pikachu from the Spearow and he was like, in the epic, he's like, I don't know, hello, Pikachu, Probably that's what he said in Japanese. And he saves them. And then after that, Pikachu comes in with the super duper thunder shock, saves the boy Ash, and then Ho uh -oh, flies over. At that point in time, everyone thought that was a Fero. Everyone thought that was a Fero. Okay. Now that we know it's 2017, we know for a fact that Ho oh, they might just do something for Ho like with Ho oh in it. Like Ho oh might be the savior. Pikachu might do thunder shock, but Ho oh might do that that cleanup. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? And then the other stuff. There's two new protagonists alongside Ash or Satoshi for the Japanese viewers. Not even Brock. It's not Brock. It's not Misty. But you want to know why it's probably not Brock and Misty? Because they in the gym. Exactly. And this seems to be really cool. I am accepting of this. I'm very open to this new idea because of the fact that if they're gonna stick closer to how maybe the games are because the anime basically takes after some of the games right or not some of them all of them they takes 
they take after them and then they like change things and kind of relate to them so that way they can make stuff like this they figure well they're supposed to be gym leaders so let's keep them in the gym let's make all new characters for people to fall in love with and one of them has a piplup and where's piplup from four generation four, four getting some dropped teases and hints at the not even possibility but the actuality of gen 4 remake is on the way because why what better way to promote your game that's gonna be remade re-released than in a freaking movie like this and let's finally end this with talking about my mans with the incineroar so this movie is gonna have all seven gens well i can't say all seven but it's going to have pokemon from one through seven with a high focus in gen one gen four and gen seven should be in gen seven is the final the most recent and i wonder how much this movie is gonna cover i want to know how long we're gonna see the boy ash on the journey imagine if this movie has the whole eight badges and all that the movie's gonna be like five hours <laughs> what if there's like a cross between like ash and the other trainers like the other from each specific gen I don't know. Wait, so you mean like if he meets gold? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That would be sick. That would be sick. So, what do you think about the movie? Think gold? Gen 3. Right? Gold? No. Gen gold is Gen 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen 4 protagonist. I'm pretty sure his name's Diamond. His gear was weird. Like, he had like one of those like old school hats on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what do you think about the movie? You hype for this, John? Yeah, it'll be, be nice to see. Yeah, it's it looks like it's coming out in July though. So we're gonna have some time until that John comes out. Oh, and I totally forgot, Mars Shadow. That's the first time we're seeing Mars Shadow and Mars Shadow's making an appearance in the movie. With that all being said, guys, let us know what you think about the official Pokemon the movie 20. I choose you. Come into theaters in Japan first. They should they should release that John here. Why the hell they're not releasing it here too? They need they need to subtitle that at least because your boy, you need you, we need to see that a ASAP. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit us up on Twitter and Discord, especially on Discord. Go in the chat and talk to us about Discord. I oh my gosh. <laughs> Pokemon is life, son. Uh let us know what you guys think about the new movie trailer, and we'll see y'all.